hear a lot about it. We're here at the Head Big booth at DockerCon 2017 in Austin, Texas. And um, can you tell me a little bit about Hedvig and what you're showing here at DockerCon? Sure. So uh, Hedvig is a software-defined storage vendor. Uh, and what that means is we take commodity x86 servers from HP, Cisco, Dell, Quanta, doesn't matter. Uh, and also, or public cloud compute resources. And you basically deploy our software directly on top. We cluster all those together to create one scaled out storage platform. And then out of that, we can connect directly into a Docker environment. So we have a certified Docker volume plugin. We're one of the inaugural plugin vendors that Docker certified. That's what we're showing here at the show. And what that basically means is if you're running any kind of database application inside of a container, uh, MongoDB, uh, Cassandra, Redis, you, you name it, then what we can do is actually mount, when you go to mount a volume for that database, that's actually being served up out of our underlying storage platform. And the benefit is you can now move that container, that database anywhere, and as you go, it'll persist that underlying storage. So you can now blow it away, spin it up somewhere else, move it, and it'll always know how to get back to its underlying storage. So we're really helping solve the problem, how do I create persistent storage, and that's really been, to be honest, this is my third DockerCon, it's been a huge theme this year. Last year we were evangelizing it, this year folks are coming to us and they're saying, hey look, this is kind of like the VM world was, uh, you know, 10 years ago where storage is now a bottleneck, and so we help solve that problem. That's great. Um, is it possible for us to get a uh, demo of the product? Yeah, absolutely. So what we're going to show is how we connect into MongoDB as a typical environment. Um, we do have the ability to actually span multiple public clouds, not just private. So to simplify the demo, we're just going to show a very simple configuration and show how you can sort of hook up a database, blow away, and then bring that database back and all the data is still there. So we'll go ahead and show you that now. So what are you going to show us? Today we're going to take a look at how you can provision persistent portable storage from Hedvig, but using the Docker Universal Control Plane, which is their operations interface, and it makes it super easy to simply get the storage you need for containers directly from Docker. So why don't we have a look? So what we're looking at right now is the Docker Universal Control Plane. It's a way to kind of manage your entire Docker environment. And one of the things that we've got sitting behind it here is actually Hedvig. We have a three node cluster. And inside of that cluster, we've got what we call a virtual disk that's there to hold some of our volumes that we're going to provision today. We already happen to have two in here. But you'll see in a moment when we provision through Docker that we'll have a couple more show up. So here we simply go to volumes and hit create volume. And what you're able to do then is give that volume a name. And because you want Hedvig to be the underlying storage, you say, use Hedvig as a driver. That's our Docker volume plugin. The goal of it is to be able to do that interaction directly into the Docker ecosystem so that you can provision. In this case, super simple. We're just saying provision me a 10 gigabyte virtual disk. Once we hit create, the volume gets created. And so automatically, you're getting the storage you need without having to go actually to the storage system itself. So for MongoDB, which we're provisioning today, it needs two volumes. And so we'll go ahead and we'll create another one. One is for all the data and one is for the, the Mongo data, uh, metadata. Same thing, using Hedvig, give me 10 gigs, and then instantly we have these volumes that were created on the back end. Now these are on that three node cluster. Any data we write is going to be distributed across that cluster. So everything is software defined and done automatically. So right now in the demo, so for, for this part, all we're simply going to do is spin up some containers. These happen to be MongoDB containers. And when we do that, what we'll do is simply say, use those volumes. We just provisioned them in Docker. Now use them for these containers. And so very simply, we input that data or the names of those volumes and our containers deployed. Now imagine doing this a thousand times today. That's where a lot of the automation and things that are going on here can become very helpful. And so we'll come down and we see, yep, those now are going to be in use. And then from here, we can simply start to go in and take a look inside of MongoDB and the fact that it's actually being used. We can load up some data. We can blow away containers. And all of that data is going to stick around because as you do persistent workloads, you want that data to be there even between sessions for your containers. And that's really the big message here is when you go into production, when you have persistent data that you want to keep, something like Hedvig starts to make a whole lot of sense. A scalable storage cluster just like Docker is scalable. So I think that's pretty good now for the, for the demo.
Hey. Well, thanks for taking the time to speak with VM Blog. No worries. Thanks.